video, I'm doing my Easter manicure and it's Peter Rabbit theme, like the old school Peter Rabbit. And I had a hard time finding the images that I wanted, so I just went on Etsy and bought some clip art. And it was only like a couple dollars, so I just downloaded this. There was also the newer Peter Rabbit that I found on Google, like Googling it, but I really wanted the older Peter Rabbit characters. And I'll show you how I got all the individual characters off of this one clip art sheet. So I just went to upload, got the sheet, complex, and I chose the crop tool at the top. And I just drew a square around the one that I wanted. And then now we're going to use the erase tool to take out the extra parts or extra characters that we didn't need. So very easy, just erasing it. So I'm previewing the cut image and ideally I wouldn't want those holes in the chair, but I did try to add it back in so I wouldn't cut it out, but I think it's part of the clip art. So I wasn't able to do that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue. And then I'm just going to do print and cut and rename it. Okay, so here are all the images that I got from that sheet. I'm just going to do this last one and add it to canvas. I'm going to change the width to 0.3 of an inch. My nails are pretty small, so yeah, the stickers have to be like extra small. And I'm just going to make a few copies. So now I have eight different stickers. Um, sometimes they don't work out or they don't cut as nicely as I would like. So that's why I make more than five. So I'm just gonna add bleed, use system dialog, and then it's always in the back of my Cricut Design Space. And then I always choose this photo glossy paper because I'm using a glossy sticker paper and then print. And then for my base material, I just do printable vinyl. So I'm just gonna cut this out and come back. Okay, so I have my print and cut stickers all done. They came out okay. I thought with buying the Etsy kit that would help. And maybe it did because they're kind of intricate. I don't know if you can see. So these came out good. That one's good. That one's okay. This one I can't tell. But this one, the mouse had a tail, so that's always hard. And this one's a little off-center. But we'll see when, when I take it out, but I don't know. And these came out okay. Unless it's just my print and cut is calibrated better on this side versus this side. I don't know. So what I did also was I just used the other end of my Mickey stickers. But see, these came out really good all the way through. And these are just images from the internet. Um, yeah. But yeah, so you can get a lot of these out of one sheet. And if you use a paper cutter or cut it really, really straight, you can probably use this again. And I've seen people, like they just cut out the stickers that they need and then they'll just run the sheet through so they can make use of all of the sticker paper. But I noticed I really do like this one. Like I had the Disney nails on for three weeks. It was getting ridiculous. And I just took it off last night. But this sticker paper has kind of a nice sheen to it. It is very glossy, but it had a really good sheen to it. And I noticed when I put it in the builder gel, it made it look almost iridescent. Like it had a really nice, I guess, effect. So I do like the glossy paper versus matte for nail stickers. And yeah, so let's try these. The colors are very muted. I think it's just the way the photos are. You know, it's, I guess that's how the books, you know, are too. Whereas the Mickeys were very vibrant. I don't think it's my printer. So I did buy a whole bunch of Dashing Diva stuff because I really wanted to try it with the white. So 
So I think the white with the Easter stuff will look really cute. But I did try, so I bought a couple other ones to try and I bought these two are together. This is the pedicure in white luminescence. And this one is the manicure in meteor shower. I thought these would look really cute together. I did need to do my toes, so I did try this last night. And I have to say, I was not super impressed. Like, I do like the Ohor gels better than this. I don't know why, they just didn't stick that well. And I did, you know, all, all the same things I do for my hands with alcohol, wipe it before, prep it, use like one of these things to scruff it up. And yeah, it had a hard time sticking. I even used this to try to like get out the wrinkles, but yeah, it was it's just okay. I don't know. I still have like some like lifting edges and so, like one part was a little bit wrinkled and I put the builder gel over it or actually the top coat, the Ohara top coat. And it helped to be thicker and sturdy. So it's not gonna rip off or anything, but I don't know if they're gonna last as long as the Ohara one. Anyways, if you want to see a video on these, let me know in the comments. And yeah, for the pedicure, also my nails are really small too, like my toenails. So I did do the half thing um, with these, although for the big one, because these are not stretchy, so you can't um, cut the big ones in half. At least for my big toe, you can't cut it in half and then use it for both. So yeah, I think I prefer Ohara the gel. Maybe if they had, I don't know if Dashing Diva has like the glaze for pedicures. I can't recall. But I did want to do a pure white in the gloss with the stickers. So I already prepped my nails and I, I want to say I really do recommend like this type of cuticle pusher downer. It's metal and it really gets like, I don't know how they say like there's dead skin on your nail. It really, like, even if it doesn't look like it's taking anything off, it does clean it better. Um, I already did it, so I don't have anything on my nail. And then this is really good. It's like a, it's a nail foul, but it's like squishy. And it's not that coarse, I guess. So it will like smooth down your nails, but it also leave it with a little bit of like texture so that things stick better on it. Yeah, so these things, and then of course this silicone tip. Yeah. So even though it's in a small box, it does come with the alcohol pad and the nail file. So I guess there's kind of a lot in this. There's the smaller finger ones and then two big, bigger finger ones. So this is huge. Oh, and it does come with a big nail file. I like this size versus the small Ohara one. So I'm just gonna prep my nail. So let's see which of these bigger ones I can use. So like always, um, the side that's more tapered and nicer, or the side that's supposed to go on your cuticle line, I always do that on my right hand because I want my right hand to withstand more and look better. So just take it, cut it in half. This one I noticed, because it's more square, I'm gonna cut it to be a little more curved. And it's kind of tricky, especially once you have it on, but totally doable. I totally recommend doing this not stuck on your fingernail, but I don't wanna take it on and off because that reduces how long it'll last, I think. And these scissors are kind of sticky because I've always used these for the stickers. Maybe a, a nice clean pair. Okay, 
because yeah you don't want it on your skin at all on the side because that's where it's going to wrinkle and lift up i think that's the only big one i can use I'm going to push my cuticle down a little bit more. I prepped my nails earlier, but I guess I washed my hands a couple times, so it went back to how it was. Okay, and so once you have them all on, you're going to get the nail file and then using the smooth side, if possible, try to file the excess off and only go in one direction. Like you can go up in this side and up in this side, but what they don't want you to do is like saw at it because it'll kind of make it all like, it'll move it around at the edge a lot more and it won't look as nice. So if you keep doing it with some pressure, because it's a solid color and not like a pattern or a glitter, this should be pretty easy. It will come off. So it's kind of coming off on the side. And if it's hard, then just go ahead and use the file. But if you use the file, it's always good to use the smooth side after, just to get that edge nice and smooth. Okay, so I'm just gonna do this for all of my nails and come back. Okay, so I've taken off all the excess of the sticker. And now I'm just gonna get take this Ohora Pro tool with the silicone edge and just run it along the cuticle and the sides. Okay, and so now I'm gonna apply my stickers. It's always good to have a tweezer because they're so small. And I'm gonna look for the biggest one. Probably this Peter Rabbit with the mommy. I'm gonna see if these even came out. There's like um, the mommy rabbit and then the baby ones. No, that did not come out. So you see how it, yeah, that's not even a picture that you can <laughs> recognize. So I will do this bunny with hugging the baby bunny. So cute <laughs> on my thumb. I really cut my nails short this time because I was so irritated with having the other Disney one on for three weeks. Okay, it just barely fits. So I'll do the same on the other hand. And I always assume some are not gonna come out. That's why I did like, what, six or seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different ones just to have extra because i don't want to do another print and cut just because some didn't come out you know i mean i guess you don't have to put a sticker on every single nail that's kind of excessive but that's what i like to do okay so the next one is probably this goose okay that came out pretty good can you see where's the camera I don't know if you can focus. <laughs> yeah, that looks like a goose. Okay. So my next longest nail would be my ring finger. So I'll put or attempt to put it on there. Oh, it's not gonna fit. Okay, I guess we'll have to save that for next time. So the next biggest one. Actually, let's look at this mouse. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but you see it has like this tiny little tail. That was not a good pick. And I kind of knew that already, but I just had to try. Did this cat come up? Oh no, this is a mouse. Another mouse with a baby mouse. That's cute. That one's pretty small. Oh, 
When my younger son was a baby, he loved this little Peter Rabbit stuffed animal. It was so cute. I really want to put this Peter Rabbit somewhere. Just fit on the ring finger. So when I did the print and cut in Cricut Design Space, I kind of focused on the width, like a 0.3 inch width. I didn't really look too much at the height, but I probably should have, especially for the tall ones, you know, because they have ears and stuff. So yeah, I probably should have looked at that more. Okay, so I think this is a squirrel. I think this can go on my pointer. Just barely. This, this is a cat. This is pretty small. Oh, is it gonna fit? Okay, it like just made it. <laughs> see the Peter Rabbit theme. I wish the colors were a little bit vibrant. If I did it again, I would maybe up the color saturation on my printer settings. But yeah, Peter Rabbit is very a very like muted like it looks illustrated book. So it can't really help it. So I'm just pressing these on really good. And then I'm going to get my Imeli Builder Gel and do a thin coat. And just my usual method, I do the thin coat, I cap the edge first, and then do a thin coat over. Especially since it's so thick, it's, I'm not like a professional nail artist, so I don't know. This is just the easiest way for me. And it does get on my skin, but I just peel it off after. And it comes off like, like glue. It's not hard at all. So just kind of either run it or tap at the edge with the brush. And I make sure there's no like huge globs because we don't need it to be a mess. If you haven't bought this builder base yet with the top coat, you have to get it. It's like $8.99 on Amazon and it's just been like the easiest builder gel top coat set I've found. And they do have colored nail polish. So yeah, make sure all the little sides are pressed down. but I'm only interested in gel if I can peel it off because I really hate soaking it. Okay, so I turn my hand over for about 10 seconds and try to get it to like level off down, you know, so it's like kind of a, a concave shape and towards the edge if possible. And then I'm gonna put it in my UV lamp for one minute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both sides and come back. Okay, so I did one coat on both sides and I think I'm gonna do a second coat because with this sticker, um, I guess with all the intricate details, it was harder to get it to stick on to the, the Dashing Diva sticker. So if you can see my middle finger, you can see how the sticker is a little bit lifted up. So I'm going to do a second coat and I'm going to make sure I'm going to do the sides really well and try to get under there and smooth around. And also this pinky, I did kind of forget to, or miss that side. If you can see it's a little higher or off my nail. But yeah, totally fixable. So I'm going to do a second coat and focus on fixing those issues. I'm not going to cap the top 
but like the simpler design, that one is fine. So I'm just going to do a thin layer. So yeah, you want to make sure you're getting underneath the sticker and really smoothing it out. Okay, and definitely you want to leave your hand upside down for maybe 20 seconds. And then I'm going to put it under the lamp for another 60 seconds. And then I'm going to do my other side and come back. Okay, so I did both hands, two coats, builder base. So I'm going to put this away and I'm going to do the top coat now. So just do a check, make sure the stickers are encapsulated into the builder base as you like. It doesn't have to be like a full mound. Like I don't mind it to stick out a little bit if it's not super thick, you know? So now I'm gonna do the top coat and I'm gonna cap the edge and do a thin coat. So I'm gonna cure this one for about a minute, maybe two minutes, just to make sure it's all cured. And I'm gonna do my other hand and come back. Okay, so I finished my last cure on both hands and I did two minutes and it feels nice, pretty smooth. There's like a couple of places like right here is a little bit sticking out and I'll probably just buff that out. Maybe tomorrow because I do want it to harden a little more before I buff that because I like it shiny. Well, okay, I'll, I'll try and buff it and see what happens if we do it right after. It's just the very tip. Okay, not bad. Now it's smooth and I didn't reduce the shine too much. But yeah, so they look super cute. I'm just going to smooth the edges now. And there is like, I don't know, it's kind of messy today because I cut my nails super short. So it's kind of impossible to get it capped, but not on the skin. But maybe I'm weird, but I like to peel it off later. You know, like after you wash your hands a few times, after you take a shower, it kind of peels off on its own, any part that's touching your skin. So don't worry if that happened to you too. So to smooth it out, you just get your, your nail file. And if it's on your skin, sometimes if you just press it down, it'll come off. And then you can just go ahead and smooth the underside. Like don't come in this way because you'll kind of dull the edge. You want to go from the inside and just smooth the edge. See right there is a little bit, I don't know, pointed. So you just, that's something you would file now. And just a light click file, just not really shaping, but just to get it all smooth. So yeah, you can push the file in to the edge of the nail and it should release the skin unless it's like super thick of a glob. I went kind of messy on this one and thick if you can see because on the first builder layer I missed like right under there so I had to do it again oh well it's okay so yeah if you're doing your nails for like an important function or something I would do it the night before because by the next day, it will all be cleaned up. So like I went kind of thick over here. That's gonna have to wait till like I take a shower to really um, get it released from the skin. Or you can just be neater, but I don't know. I want like quick and dirty <laughs> methods. Like the time that I have to get ready or do things for myself is very limited. So I just try to get it done quick. 
and like some people think like doing gel nails at home or doing these Ohara ones take longer than painting your nails but actually I think it's less like even with filming I think I spent maybe half an hour doing my nails but because it's gel I can just go on with my day you know before I could never paint my nails with nail regular nail polish during the day because it takes hours to really harden and then I would mess it up and so I'd always have to wait till like right before I go to sleep and then make sure I don't like put my hand under my hair or something because then you get all the lines but yeah so here's my Easter nails I hope you guys like it super cute Peter Rabbit themed Actually, that one's so cute hugging the bunny I wish I left my nails a little bit longer. I think they would look a little bit better and I could use all the stickers. But yeah, I hope you guys try it and have a fun Easter holiday. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.